Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Souls 3. So last time we left off, we had just gotten started with a new character after my unfortunate uh, few week hiatus from my bronchitis and such being really damn sick and be worse than you would think from something like that. So again, I said it the first time, I apologize for that long uh, absence and I am now back. So we have our new female pyromancer character I named Furia. Uh, <coughs> we have leveled up a couple of times. We have 16 vigor, 12 endurance, uh, and I raised the dexterity from 9 to 10. Everything else is at base. Uh, I am running with a few new items here. I have the chain armor and the iron bracelets giving us a fairly nice 15 poise, 14.96. Um, we have the Covenant Silver Serpent Ring that I snagged from using the tree jump as well as the iron bracelets were gotten from trading with Snuggly using the tree jump so we did not need the 20,000 souls for the ring which really helps us out early on. I got the life ring as my early gift so instead of having 772 we are now at 826 HP which is perfect for this early in the game. It's a very nice number. Uh, we have the Great Swamp Ring which gives us 12% boost to our pyromancies. Since I started with the pyromancer, you get that automatically. I traded out my inferior caduceus shield with the much better, for a small shield anyway, east-west shield, having much better stability and defenses. I managed to get a couple cleric sacred chimes, dropping off the random enemies. I defeated the swordmaster to get his uchigatana. <coughs> but I don't have the stats to wield it, of course, since I'm focusing mostly on vigor and endurance currently. So I'm still using the standard hand axe. That's basically it. That's that's if you didn't see the first episode, that's that's what you missed. So we are now <coughs> sitting here with 5000 souls uh trying to figure out what to do now. Uh I mean there's not really much that I can think of that would be real useful to us at this point. I, yeah, we don't have any other weapons yet, so there's no real sense in going to Andre. So I guess we might as well just do a little bit more leveling up. We went into the High Wall of Lothric a little bit and got some extra souls. So those are the ones that we're going to be using here, these 5k. <coughs> uh... I don't really see... I could put some points into Intelligence or Faith, but I'm thinking that I should just... I think I'm just going to go a little bit extra. I'm going to go 18 Vigor right here. I think that's the best way to go. That's... I, I don't... I might go to 20. I'm not sure. I might go 20, or I might just go 18, 14. I'm not sure. Then I'm going to start raising Intelligence and Faith, and later on I'll start going into Strength and Dex. But early on, I want to uh, <coughs> have a build that's a little bit more PvP viable, because I'm wanting to try some PvP on low level. But, dear God, if you guys have ever done low level early area PvP, you'll know what I'm talking about. This stuff is brutal. You get killed. You know, it, it makes the ridiculous part of invasions, which is the fact that... Uh, the game prioritizes gank squads, basically, where whenever you invade, you, the game automatically tries to pit, pit you against someone that has one or two phantoms way before anyone that doesn't. The only way to invade someone that doesn't have a phantom is if the game searches and searches and finds nobody with a phantom, and they just have to put you with someone that doesn't have one. And even then, the only person without a phantom that can even be invaded, period, is somebody who has used the dried finger or has invaded themselves. Uh, the, apparently the way it works is that if you have n if you get invaded, the only way to get invaded again is to invade yourself or use the dry finger. If you have not used the finger or invaded yourself since the last time you got invaded, then you cannot be invaded again without summoning a phantom. Anyway, our new HP after 
healing is now, or after leveling up, is now 947. Eat that. Look at that, 947. That's beautiful for this early in the game. Kill them right through his shield. Nice. <coughs> anyway. Uh, we do not have the undead hunter charms. Nope. So I don't want to... Go down to, uh... I don't want to go down to, uh, the Mimic yet. Because I want to use those so I can try to farm him for the, uh, Symbol of Avarice. <coughs> I haven't managed to get a Longsword drop yet from any of the random enemies. Which kind of sucks, but the hand axe is still good. It's not a bad weapon for this early. The war cry makes it nice, although I am kind of strapped for MP or FP at this point. Oh, hello. Whoops. Well, don't let I'm trying to see if a jumping attack will break his guard, but he keeps lowering it down right when I go to jump <laughs> Okay, uh I showed it pretty well in the last video here. I Don't know if I'm gonna have enough MP or FP to do it in this case <coughs> We'll have to find out Just keep throwing fireballs and moving back. That's it, guys. There you go. If you if you got enough MP to not run out and have to run in there and melee him like I do, you can just do do like like what I just did at Arthur Knight. Just just fireball, 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 fireball. And the tactic is just you know run up to him. As close as you need to do to make him trigger a transformation, then immediately just do a couple rolls back, fireball, back up, fireball, back up. Every time, you, you know, every, just keep holding back on the key while you're throwing the fireball. You don't want to go out of uh, lock on range, but always move a little bit back after every fireball. That usually makes it to where he's, for the first couple shots, he's too busy dealing with these guys, and. By the time he gets close enough to you, he's pretty much dead. You know, that that's a very reliable way to deal with these guys. I mentioned it in the last video, I killed the other one. Every time you kill them the first time, they automatically drop an Ember and a Titanite Shard too. So that's something for you guys to remember. Uh, and they do have a chance to drop Titanite Shards every time you kill them after that. So they're actually pretty good. I like, I like farming these guys. And there is our raw gem. Which is going to come quite in handy, actually. <coughs> is there a... Oh, yeah, he missed some. Huh. That's interesting. I've, I never actually looked down here before yet. Just kind of a little pit, nothing interesting, but still kind of interesting to me as the nerd I am. I should not have jumped like that, I don't know why I did. Hello.
They really do give you quite a few fire bombs in this part in the high wall here. Okay, gotta be a little careful here. I'm running low on my... And you know what? I might even want to turn back here in a minute. I don't know. I, I don't have to. That's just being pansy if I turn back, I guess. It's definitely not necessary. Don't think I... I always forget which items are hidden behind the random barrels and crap. That's, yeah, it's down here, isn't it? Whoa, hello. No, don't see me. Okay, good. sure if I got it yet. Did I get the club yet? No, I didn't. Where is it anyway? Isn't it? Did we miss it somehow? There's the hunter charms. There's supposed to be a club somewhere. We must have missed it somehow. Um, it's just a regular club, but you can two-hand that and just wail on the this Lothric Knight with the big shield and two hits usually you usually two two-handed swings is enough to break his guard maybe three but usually two and they'll usually guard right away when you when they you know usually you just walk up to them they'll swing once block the hit and then they'll start guarding or something just two hand and then just bing bing breaks his guard repost him Okay. Yep, there's this guy. Oh, come on. Did I break a box on the other side? <laughs> <coughs> I did, yeah. I broke this one right there. That is cool. There's the broadsword, guys. Okay, what do we got here? What's the difference? 110, 12, 117, 12. Yeah, so that's definitely a little better. I I actually really like the the broadsword's moveset. It has this... The, the R2 is really cool because it... Uh, the first R2, anyway. It flings you forward, you know. It's really... It does take a little longer to hit. But it, it does that and has increases the range significantly, which is the main problem of the broadsword. It's actually pretty short. Unfortunately, even though the broadsword does do pretty significantly higher damage than any other <coughs> sword uh, with its R1s and such, it or with any attack really, it just does more damage. It uh, It also uh, lacks a stab attack, any kind of thrust attack whatsoever, it just doesn't have one. There we go, perfect. Goes from 55 physical to 100. Same stability, yes you lose a, quite a lot in your elementals, but we're not fighting any elemental damage in this area of the game. Like right there, see I can, I can hit that guy, you know, an R1 doesn't do squat from that range. R2, no problem. Hell, I can, yeah, way back there, I, I can hit him from, like, way back here with that. Not bad at all. We got the Hunter Charm, so now we can go ahead and troll the Mimic. Yeah, yeah, stop barking to come over here. I 
They give you so many fire bombs. Hello. Whoa, bad range. Am I thinking of the wrong attack, maybe? Oh, I hate that there's three of these guys down here. There's the one. Okay, that's the one. Ah, crap. Oh, you can't be serious. Nope, not enough MP. That's great. Thanks to my new shield and sword, we are fine. Here we got another Titanite Shard, which is Coolio. We got seven of them now. Doing pretty darn good, actually. Yep, nothing here, okay. I'm pretty sure none of these have anything here. It's just down the stairs that I gotta get now. Okay. Kill the dog down here. Hello. How did you survive that? Now we can go get our buddy, Grey Rat, who is going to give us a specific weapon that I'm wanting to try out as well. Uh, I have to see. I'm, I'm, I'm a little leery of it just because of the slow movement speed on it for early level gameplay, but we'll see how it goes, I guess. Uh, oh yeah, we haven't... We need to go back real quick and grab the main item that I'm looking for here which you might have all figured out by this point <coughs> the Astora straight sword uh, yes the, the, the Astora straight sword was nerfed that that's just the gist of it it's not as good as it was according to Mugen Monkey and you know wikis and stuff you can see that it didn't you know people have upgrade it before but plus 10 raw a star straight sword is 322 damage used to be now it's 301 so you lost 21 damage points uh and other raw weapons were actually buffed so that a raw long sword a regular long sword does 309 whereas the store is just 301 and this broad sword you know what i don't even recall what the broad sword does that has got me legitimately curious. Just one sec, guys. Let's find out. Uh... Yeah, okay, let's see, uh, a s no, no, not a star, broadsword, yeah, okay. Raw, okay, 322, yeah, so it does exactly the same then. Hmm. Huh. See, that, that's the problem, that's what I'm really getting a problem with. You see, like, 301, and then the regular longsword, 309. That Those are the three highest right there, all the other ones are less. Dark sword's 299. It just makes you wonder, what's the best one to go for, right? <coughs> you don't know. It's hard to say. Anyway, uh, did I grab it? No, I couldn't have. Yeah, it's right there. Okay. There we go. Okay, let's see. Let's look at the difference here. Okay, 117, 112. So you'd think, hey, that does way more damage, right? You know, 117 to 129, that's 12 damage, and you're only losing 5, right? Yeah, you're only losing 5, going from 12 to 7 in scaling, but you're going from 17 up to 29 in the base damage. So you would think this is a better weapon, but for some reason, when raw, it's, they've just nerfed it to hell. Huh. 
you, you might add, you know, and th this is the reasoning is that you get that, R you get the R2 stabs, you get the rolling attack stabs. I can't remember, is it backstab? No. The rolling attack and R2s are stabs, and that's very important to have in a lot of situations. Uh, <coughs> you might just say, why, right? You know, what's the point? But, uh, I'm just gonna go back around real quick to replenish everything for myself. Uh, Uh, yeah, and yeah, you might ask why I'm using the stores with 301, why I would want to use the stores at 301 instead of the long sword at 309. It just looks cooler, right? You know, you're talking 8 damage. Boo-hoo, you know, big deal. Oh, wait. And it just looks cooler, so I'm going to stick with that. It's not going to make much difference. Although, the damage between 301 and 322 is big enough to tempt me, for sure. That's why I want something at least a little stronger as a backup weapon, which is why I'm talking about going to Grey Rat to pick up something else that has a little more oomph to it. Apologies for me rambling on a bit about this stuff, but I'm trying to describe my mindset to you guys. Uh, you know what? Actually, hold up. Before I go heal, why don't I just go down and get Grey Rat now that I have the key. Oh yeah, that's the, that's the lift. With the Dark Wraith in it. Okay. Thought I didn't see you, huh? Thought I didn't see you, bruh. Bruh. Alright, we're good. Get to Grey right here. Hey, old buddy, ah. old pal, old friend. You're no jailer, are you? No, no, you're from far away. <coughs> and judging by the bell, you must be some of that unkindled ash. Remarkable. If that's true, then I have a favor to ask. Below the high wall is a musty little town. Not the home of any lord, just a, a very old settlement of undead. An old woman, Loretta, lives there. Please, give her this ring. I, I'm not asking for charity. In fact, in fact, if you do this for me, I'll be sure to repay you in kind. I, I may be a petty thief, but I've more wits than most royalty. What do you say then? Daga huh? Kotowalu. Yeah, fine. Very well. I humbly place my faith in you. <coughs> I am Grey Rat of the Undead Settlement, and I promise to assist you. Give this ring to old Loretta at the base of the high wall. Do your part, and I'll do mine. Well, we just got the most useless ring in the entire game, and probably the entire series, frankly. You get a 20% less damage. Well, actually, you know what? I don't even know what this does at this point. What was it? When HP is low, 20% absorption. I, I gotta test this. I'm curious. In Dark Souls 1, it was the same as the Red Tear Stone, was it? So is it 40%? Yeah, so it boost, reduces damage flat out by 40% in Dark Souls 1. And even then, it was the most useless ring in the whole game, basically. Because when you're below 20% HP, even reducing an attack by 40% is likely not to save you. How did I miss that? Oh, the barrels, I guess. But I should have seen... Oh, yeah, it kind of diverts your eyes. That smart, Miyazaki. Crafty little jevil. Jevil. See, that they're... Uh-oh. Institutional racism. I was about to call him a Jap. I called him a jevil instead. <laughs> Triggered. Triggered. 
Somebody better call MTV decoded on me. All right. We are good. <coughs> Let's just head back real quick. And... Well, I mean... Actually, wait. Yeah, never mind. Hold on. Let's... Push on a little further here. Might as well while we're while we got everything going here. Can I just yeah? I don't feel like taking him out with a fireball right now. Let's just kill him off. Okay. Can we catch him quick enough? Yes, we sure darn can. You see, notice this shoot back up, shoot back up, shoot back up. You know that's how you do it. As long as you keep backing up a couple steps each time, by the time they reach you. You usually have just enough distance between you and them to come out on top, yeah. 80 damage. Okay, that's 136. That's 80 damage. Or, yeah, right. So let's see what the difference in 129 is, right? So that's 7 damage. So that's almost as much as the difference between the raw Astora's and the raw uh, broadsword. 73 it did to him, but let's check this guy to be sure. 78? Wait, what? Huh. Yeah, so that's two damage difference, right? Even on just a generic hollow. Seven AR is two damage difference. So, I, I don't see the difference between 301 and 309 being you know, jack squat, basically. Anyway. I have no idea why I just rested here at the bonfire. I, I can't for life me figure it out. Huh. Oops. Hello. You sneaky little motherfucker. Oh, oh, missed. And see, even if you miss, you got enough distance to still pull it off. They're not dropping anything for some reason. Oh, did that say 86? Oh, well, that is actually somewhat of a difference. No, that, well, that's 80. What the hell? Seventy-three. Eighty. Okay, we're looking at seven damage difference. Still, that's not important in my opinion. I don't I don't see that as being worthwhile. Okay, uh let's drop down here real quick. I need to stop doing that. Stop dropping down. Because it does do, this early in the game, it does do a relatively significant amount of damage. See, I had to waste an Estus there because of that, that jump provided with that one hit. Okay. Hey, another raw gem. That's just what I needed, actually. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull this off. What you got for me? Nothing. Well, that's cute. Oh, yeah. This, this... Why did I not think of this? Okay. Do I have enough MP? Uh, yes, I do. Err... Uh, no, I don't. 
Scusé. Excuse. FP3. 13 then, huh? Ugh. Well, that sucks. Okay, fine. Here. Whoops. There we go. That saved me from having to waste another Estus. Just kind of skirt around this guy so his arrows don't hit us. Those are flaming arrows. Do those actually do any... Yes, they do actually do some damage. That's interesting that he has fire bolts. Come on, bro. Here, I'll get it closer for you. Come on. You can do it. No, you can't. Come on. Come on. Nope. All right, fine. I'll put you out of your misery. Interestingly enough, you actually have block frames when you're like... Oh, it didn't work. Okay, let's see. Let's see if I can line it up right. Come on. Ah, too soon. Come on. Yeah, it, it never hits me when I do that. Okay. N enough playing around. Hello. There. Okay. Let's use that real quick again. <coughs> Wasted a ton of MP. I hate that. <laughs> oh, wait. Before I go anywhere, I, they're going to ambush me here, so I got to be careful to let it heal up first. So I'll just do it slowly down the ladder. This is a godsend. For new players, just get a chime, guys. Just keep farming and killing the the first hollows at the very beginning of the game until you get the cleric sacred chime trust me it's worth it instead of wasting you know 30 40 50 focus points on one healing spell meaning you can only use it like two times on most even a cleric i think can only use it two times without using a ash estus you just use 13 fp measly you can do that like eight nine times on this pyromancer uh and, it, and just sit there for a while, just go eat a sandwich or something while it heals your HP up. Huh. It just does it a little bit slowly. Anybody else coming here? This is a nice view, actually. Being able to see all the way up in here. Where is this guy? There he is. Okay, I better hurry up and get around him. Coming after me? Who broke that? Two embers. Isn't there one more over here? No? Really? Huh. I always think that there's another item around here. I swear they changed this stuff from the, the launch. I'm pretty sure there was another ember somewhere. Safe zone ahead. Therefore, time for sleep talk. <laughs> All right. <coughs> Let's go up here real quick. Grab these souls and the green. I I, I want to say fire bombs. Was it green blossoms? Nope, a ring of sacrifice. I always forget that. That's another thing that I swear changed from the way the game used to be. I could swear that there was. I think it was fire bombs up there. Oh, and I forgot the mimic too. That's another thing I should have done. Here, let's kill the 
this guy real quick. Yikes! Okay, uh... Uh... Let's grab this. Ah, there's some green blossoms. I think I'm okay to take these guys on. I don't think it's a problem. Trying to get him to guard. He doesn't want to put his shield up. There we go. Oh, son of a bitch. Come on, guard. Put your shield up, bro. Come on. There. Oh, you son of a... Oh, you know what? Screw you. You're not worth the time. You're almost dead. Sheesh. Talk about irritating. I swear they used to guard way more than that. They used to put the shit up like constantly. That's the combo of the sentry right there. One, two, or two. You know, or if the person happens to get out really early and is rolling away, a roll R2, or a roll attack, excuse me. Does a rolling R2 really do much? Nope, that's not the, nope, bad idea. Okay, let's talk to Emma, High Priestess of Lothric Castle, with a suspicious ladder right above her. Remember guys, there are no Lords of Cinder here. Above this suspicious ladder. I bet you there's nothing going on here. I'm, I'm telling you. I'm suspicious of this woman from the beginning. I don't even know what's up this ladder. And I'm still suspicious. Ah, the wait has been long, unkindled one. Just the words she says I is just so Emma, suspicious. I am High Priestess of Lothric Castle. Allow me to speak frankly. You will not find the Lords of Cinder here. They have left. Gone to their journey homes converging at the base of this castle. Head to the bottom of the high wall, forge on through the great gate, and raise this banner to proceed. This farewell gift is for you. It is the insignia <coughs> of an old covenant. If you fear trespassers, dark spirits drawn by the embers, then etch this upon your heart, and the old Concord will beckon noble blue sentinels to hunt these foul spirits. <coughs> Unkindled one, head to the high wall's base. Go through the great gate and raise this banner to proceed. But beware, the dog keeps a close eye on things. The vile watchdog of the Boreal Valley. I don't know, maybe it's just me being, like, super suspicious of everything, but... Because she doesn't... Now that I hear it again, it doesn't sound suspicious. It's just like... It, it's basically like... The princess is in another castle. Unkindled one, you know. What... What is this? Why is there a ladder behind you? Why can't I get up here, you know? There's no way to get up here from the sides. It just... That, that alone makes it suspicious to me. The fact that she tells you to go away on top of that is like, huh, what, you know? Okay, I'm not going to survive this, I guarantee it, but let's try it. Can I... Yeah, whatever. It's not worth buffing. There we go.
There we go. He always drops a refined gem from what I've seen. Is Oh, no item here, okay. I could have swore there was an I it's been a like maybe I'm just losing my memory. Maybe I'm getting dementia or something. I keep misremembering where all the items are in this game. There's Lucerne. Yep, nothing. Okay, let's see. Can I do a combustion on him? Only 35 damage, too. That could... I hate that combustion. is so damn weak in this game. The fireball did, like, 80 damage. Did, like, twice as much. I think it did, what? I, I think it did, like, 86 or something to him. Somewhere like that. Uh... Should I fight Vort? I don't know. I'm thinking I should just head back real quick. I, I could take Vort, no problem, really, but... I, do, I just want to spend these souls and stuff and do a little bit of leveling up in that. You know what? Oh, no, I want to activate... If I don't activate the elevator, it's going to be a lot longer to get down here. think anyway. I might as well open the shortcut anyway though. There we go. What does that say? B oh, Buka fellow. I thought it said beefalo. <laughs> I was like, somebody plays Don't Starve. <laughs> I totally want to do some Don't Starve videos too. That game is so fun. Seriously, a criminally underrated game. Okay. On to Firelink. <coughs> We're almost ready, guys. Um, yeah, okay. First thing I want to do, go to Grey Rat. Oh, hello, you're back. I'm in one piece. Well, now it's time I do my part. Whatever trinket you need, speak up. Just don't ask me where I got them. For those who haven't figured it out also, the reason that I switched to my Pyromancy glove before I talk to a merchant is that if I accidentally bump R1 or something, which has been the bane of many Dark Souls players, you accidentally hit R1 and strike a merchant with your sword, and they hate you forever. I'm not even sure if it's possible. Like In Dark Souls 1, they had a partner, Oswald, who you could pay a large chunk of souls to that would reset your sin, making it to where people that you've you know, hurt and committed crime against, or like if you abandoned covenants back in that game that actually mattered, they would stop attacking you and forgive you, and you could en go enter their covenant again or something. You know, 
in this game you can't do that so it's even more at least i don't think so so it's even more important to uh, not hit them in this when you have a pyromancy glove out if you hit r1 instead of just swing and hitting him it poof in your hand reaches back throws forward you know and even if you don't even even if your reflexes are that slow that you don't notice it by then it'll probably land on the wall behind him and may not hit him but in most cases, you can just flick the stick and turn him around so he'll throw the fireball that way, you know. Anyway, let's see what he's got here. Uh, the fire arrows, I'm very tempted to go for, but we don't have a, we don't have a real functioning bow, really. Uh, I want to pick up the thief mask. That's a cool piece there. Uh, you know what? 8.3, 4.7. Tens and fives. Let me check for that real quick. <laughs> Nope, not worth it, because this is 11. Well, the strike damage is, is better on the other one, but 11, 7, 13, 10, and then almost 7, 4, 8, 6, you know? So that's okay. definitely better than uh, 10, 10, 10, 10, and 5, 5, 5, 5, you know? Okay, that's that's too bad. It sucks. Uh, These are 2s. How does that compare? Two, two weight and then two is on the absorptions. Let me check that out compared to the iron. That's not bad, actually. Huh. Oh. The weight is 2.0. I think I'm... It's a thousand, though. Shoot. This is what I really would like to have. This kite shield that's better in every way than the silver eagle kite shield, but... Way too expensive for my taste at the moment. <clears throat> okay, uh... The mace is the one I was thinking of right there. 600 souls. Um, 3.7... 3s. I don't think there's anything in there that I care about. <laughs> Let's compare that to the chain again. Everything but the strike damage. The strike damage on this is pretty bad. Everything else is really high on it. I suppose against Vort, that would actually be important, you know. Ah, well, Matt. Tis good to see ye in good health. What needs smithing this day? Okay. Uh, let's see what we got here. Um, Broadsword would go from <coughs> 129 to... 142 and this one goes from 136 to 150 regular upgraded and then the mace goes from 126 to 139 huh that's interesting wait 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 so 150 on the astoras Huh. And only 139 on the on the mace. Wow, that's actually surprising. Uh let's see. Okay, raw brings it to 133 there. <coughs> and then 142 on this. Or one see there is where it kicks in right there. 155. <coughs> I'm trying to think of which weapons to go for, you know? Like, it increases by 21 each upgrade. Once you make it raw, it increases by 21 at each upgrade. So, like, for example, at plus 2, we would have... 184 on this broadsword and then on this we would have 
175 versus 183. Or what? 175 versus 184. So it would be 9 damage. Okay, so it's not... It's not that big of a difference, I suppose. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to go for these stores. I can always... I guess I can always make the broadsword raw later. You can always farm a raw gem. Uh... Now use my last raw gem on the mace. There we go. I'm gonna swap the Estus right there. Uh, okay, yeah, there. Never mind. I forgot I had another shard. Um, Yeah, let's do that. Let's do five and one there. <coughs> okay, be careful like that. Okay, um. Is there anything she's got? I don't think there's anything anymore st even still that I need from her. Yeah, nothing really. Okay, uh, anything I need to sell? I don't think so, really. Okay, nope, nothing. Alright, uh... Let's use these real quick. Okay, that's all of them. So we got 53... 23, so we should probably be able to get two levels out of this. Welcome. Very well, then take me. Yep, we sure can. I'm debating whether to go full 20. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Just go just go to 20 and then we'll stick there. Okay, and then after that we can raise end to 40, 14. And then we can start working on intelligence and faith and such and strength and dex. That gives us 1,062 HP. Very nice. Without the ring, we are at 993. Jeez. <laughs> so that's 69 HP you're getting from the ring. That's nothing to sneeze at, guys. That is nothing to sneeze at for sure. I want to see something real quick here. Okay, we got 22, 14, 25, 20 in our absorptions. I want to see what happens when the tear stone ring kicks in. Oh shit. That is not what I wanted to do. Holy crap, that was close. Are we below 20% yet? I don't think so. 300 out of 1,060. Uh, no, not quite. Okay, um... Oh, it's definitely in effect now. Okay, good. Okay. Oh, wow. That actually does appear to be significantly higher. 37, 31, 40, 36. That does seem like a pretty decent boost. Problem being that you gotta have next to no HP for it to take effect. <laughs> huh. 
Okay. Uh, the video's getting kind of long here. We've been on, I think, for... Ooh, been an hour, actually. Seems like. Uh, so we definitely want to stop pretty soon here. I will end this video with one thing. Uh, my bad sense of direction, apparently. Hello. What the heck? Whoa, that sucks some HP down. Where is this guy? Okay, there he is, right there. Derp. Okay. Let's talk to Leonhard. I'm kindled, are we? And fast on the trail of the Lord's absconded. Then these red eyes are for you. Use them to pillage enemies <coughs> and briefly heighten your strength for your duty. What else are unkindled ashes good for? <laughs> Pillage embers for briefly heightened strength for your duty. What else are unkindled ashes good for? <laughs> Pillage what else? Okay. <coughs> so, thank you guys for watching. We are doing pretty good here. So we'll continue on in the next video and I will see you guys later.